What's up everybody, my name is Dwight and welcome back to GeForce Garage. At QuakeCon 2017, we covered Brandon McCarthy's rig called Breadbox that took top honors in the scratch build category. Last August, he entered again, this time in the id slash Bethesda category, and won first place, granting him a trifecta three wins in three years in all three categories. We brought him in today to show off his latest masterpiece. Well, hey there, Brandon. Glad to finally have you here. We covered one of your previous builds, Breadbox, and today you brought us a brand new build, but what is it? So this guy is Whoop. If you're familiar with QuakeCon, Whoop is something that has just been ingrained in the uh, attendees for several, several years now. It all started with a little plaque on the wall at the convention center that said, when the fire alarm sounds, it makes a whoop whoop sound. So what was your actual inspiration for this build? This is my third addition to the QuakeCon case modding competition. Mm -hmm. So two years ago, I won with White Widower in the Classic series, which is just a normal off-the-shelf case that you mod and make it your own. And last year, I won with Project Breadbox, which is a scratch build. Very challenging, but a whole lot of fun. And so for the last category they have is Id Bethesda. And Id Bethesda is anything that is in their universe. QuakeCon has always been an inspiration to me. It's where I first started getting into modding, which was very fitting for this mod. And even more so than that, all the components that you see in this build are actually parts that were either won or were acquired through something at QuakeCon. So uh, what mods did you actually do? Because this does not look like a typical core P5. So it actually did come with a tempered glass front panel, top and uh, side panel. But obviously being into woodworking, I knew I wanted to have some wood components in it. The fittings, those were milled off a single dowel rod of walnut and then cut into their individual pieces and then bored out on both sides to kind of make the perfect diameter fit. And then also you can see the majority of the top and front panels have a really beautiful walnut casing as well. But my favorite mod on this case would definitely be the inserts for the top and the front of the case, mm -hmm. which was really the kind of the staple because I wanted the coolant of the case to like really showcase QuakeCon. And I was lucky enough to use the QuakeCon logo mm -hmm. as an actual channel for the coolant to run through. Mm -hmm. So in order to create a really cool manifold like this, all you need is a good design. And then you laser cut a single piece of acrylic and it gives you your voided channel space. Then all you have to do is sandwich that between two other flat pieces of acrylic and you have a manifold. Now, what can you tell me about uh, all the wood that you actually put on the inside of the case? I wanted to use a couple of the wood features to kind of hide some of the, uh, the cases, you know, pass through holes. Having that wood panel on the back allows me to just put my 24 pin where I want it and pump pins and stuff like that. For the graphics card, that was a lot of fun for me because it's just a milled down piece of walnut and it's just adhered to an EK water block, just a little bit of double-sided 3M tape. And then the uh, power supply shroud, that was kind of cool. So uh, this case, the power supply is usually mounted vertically. I wanted something that went all the way across, so I laminated maple and walnut together to give it a separation of color. And you can see with the cutout or the QuakeCon logo itself, there's light behind it. I noticed you also have a couple of lighting bars on the front and the top. Can you tell us a little bit more about those? Basically what I did is I carved out a groove, then inset the RGB strips inside of that. Also took a piece of acrylic and sanded it down. It has a really nice diffusing effect on LED strips. The same thing goes for cable management too, like finding places to put cables and everything like that can be a big challenge and you did a great job. And I, I love the sleeving too. It's a paracord sleeving. I've always kind of liked the look of paracord. I think cables should not really be the focus of a build, but they need a complex and blend well into the build, which for me, it's worth it to take a little extra step and like really go through and finish that backside off too. Yeah, I highly commend that effort <laughs> because it. I'm in the same boat. So the mods look great and uh, you put a lot of effort into that, but what are the actual specs of the PC? I know that they gave you a lot of these parts, but what'd you get? So the first year that I won, I won this case. And last year I won the power supply, which is a EVGA 1200P2. A <laughs> little bit overkill for this build, yeah. but I had it laying around, so I might as well use it. Also, uh, I reused a couple components from my first build. The graphics card is gonna be the GeForce GTX 980. Still a really great card even today. The motherboard is a Z370e Gaming from ASUS, and then it also has an 8700K for the CPU. Also have 16 gigabytes of memory, crucial ballistic sports kit. 
For the water cooling side, pretty much everything's from EK. We have their water block for the GPU and the CPU, their pump res combo configuration. This is their D5 version. We have bits power fittings for all the water cooling fittings. Those are gonna be the 12 millimeter versions. And then the tubing is also gonna be from bits power, just cause if you use the same tubing and fitting manufacturer, it's a lot easier to work with. Well, it looks great. I can tell that you put a ton of work into this. So is there gonna be another mod next year that we can look forward to? No, not next year. I think I'm gonna take a little break. Modders Inc. was nice enough to uh, invite me to judge their, in their competition next year. So I think that'll be a lot of fun to kind of go around and see what everybody else is doing and you know, really see how the modding community starts to grow, so. Nice, okay. Well, again, thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Always happy to have someone as talented as Brandon come in. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and we'll see you for the next one.